guys, this is Krivi again with another pen review and today we're going to have a look at a Waldmann pen, the Waldmann Précieux. Yes, it's a Waldmann pen. No, it's not a Mont Blanc Solitaire, even though they sort of resemble a little bit. I have already reviewed Waldmann pens. I think it was only one Waldmann pen. There's one or two more in the pipeline. Today we look at the Précieux, which is uh, I think it's their flagship model, at least one of their flagship models, if not the flagship model. Guys, Waldmann is a German pen manufacturer. Uh, they have a history of about 100 years, slightly over 100 years. They are located in the Black Forest region in southern Germany in a small town called Pforzheim. A city that's, I think I've mentioned that before in other reviews, um, they are sort of like a famous city for uh, silver jewelry and such stuff and those Waldmann pens. This is also silver pens, 925 sterling silver. Let's look at the box before we hop into the pen or onto the pen review directly. That's the Waldmann logo. Looks like that very nice black box, very interesting opening style. You take out another black box uh, sort of Faux leather style with Waldmann, you know, the same kind of imprint like this one, <clears throat> just uh, muted in black, very reflective uh, sort of like closure here. You even see my bookshelf in the background. Open it up like that very, very nicely, all in this faux leather material right in here. <clears throat> you get a packet of uh, Royal Blue Ink cartridges. Very nice, says Waldmann. I don't know if it's Waldmann Ink or who makes that ink. You get a silver polishing cloth because, of course, this is a 925 sterling silver pen made in Germany. Very, very, very nicely. And then from Waldmann, you do get, oops, come out, 10 years of worldwide warranty. Fantastic. Uh, that's that's really good. Let's have a look, uh, a look at the pen itself. Well, guys, as said before, this is not a Mont Blanc Solitaire, but it does resemble it quite a bit. Overall, it quite much resembles, you know, uh, the Mont Blanc Meisterstück. I think it's a cigar-shaped pen. You could also say it resembles a Sailor 1911 and so on. I think it does resemble a Mont Blanc a little bit more. But let's have a look at that pen in, in its own right. It's a cigar shaped pen with a shiny black high polished sort of lacquered barrel. We have a, a cap here. It's not exactly hammered. It has that like very, very nice geometry going on right here that looks kind of nice depending on how you angle that into the light. Can play with the light very, very nicely. And then we have a silver end cap. But now let's cap cover the pen systematically, top to bottom. We do have a highly reflective silver dome up here. We then have a clip with the Waldmann logo in here. Uh, it says 925 uh, for sterling silver and a small Waldmann logo right here at the side of the clip. You then have a very, very simple clip. Um, the clip is spring-loaded. The only thing that I find a bit problematic with this clip is that this flare or this angling down here uh, is so flat and so shallow that you basically can't really use this clip. Uh, it, it's very hard to get that pen into a shirt pocket or something like that. I show you a more blow pen right here. <clears throat> That's what it looks like there. You know, that angling here uh, is uh, is a lot more optimal for getting, a, getting that into a, a shirt pocket or a pen pouch. Um, the cap is otherwise has this very nice sort of like diamond cut shape looks very mesmerizing or hypnotizing depending on uh, you know how you're looking at those kind of things i find it's very very beautiful and uh, then you have a center band here saying made in germany on the back side and waldmann on the front side we then have like the black barrel highly polished tapering down and then we have like a end cap right here which is very interesting because that's like not really a blind cap you can unscrew it super cool 
I think uh, one of the last pens that I've reviewed where we see this kind of little trick is the um, Momento Zeros. It's not a piston filler. It does have a standard standard con uh, converter in there, um, but sort of like, you know, you can fill the pen like a piston filler by dipping it into an ink bottle and then operating this uh, metal mechanism right here at the end. When I open the pen, you do of course see that it is just a cartridge converter, but a very nice one uh, with the all metal ending right here, which when you operate it like this, sort of like looks pretty cool. One flip side with that construction is that you have metal on metal. And while the overall tolerances of this pen are fantastic, back there, there's that little bit of wiggle room I think uh, you can hear it rattling. That's what it does. A little bit annoying. Ah, it's what it is, right? But just wanted to point it out. Uh, then as said, uh, or as you've already seen, it's a screw on cap. It uh, unscrews with uh, two and a quarter turns. Ah, a little bit borderline too much for making this a very fast note taker. Uh, I, I, my sort of personal limit there is like at one and a half turns. Pandas post becomes extremely back heavy because of this like very heavy metal cap, but there is no need to post the pen really. I mean, like I have larger hands. You people who follow me uh, since quite some time, you know, that sort of like the Pelican M800, that's sort of like my pen size or like uh, as said, uh, Mont Blanc Meisterstück Le Grand 146. That's about that size. I do a size comparison to that pen in a second as well lays very very comfortably in the hand but if you're one for posting pens uh, be aware of the fact that it may be uncomfortable with this pen especially if you have shorter hands the pen will get even more back heavy but even with my large hands i do find the pen posted a tad too back heavy pen does have like a very very beautiful 18 karat gold nib duo tone nib very beautiful these nibs here are made by bock in heidelberg uh, for Waldmann. Uh, I love the shape of this nib. Looks very beautiful with those white shoulders right there. Very nice duotone bicolor nib as said 18k. In that case here it's an extra fine and it's a very nice true to the size extra fine. You see the pointy end here like looks like a dagger. Very very nice fine nib and uh, says 1918 and then uh, the Waldmann logo right here feet down there. Very beautiful. I really like uh, the way this nibs look and I think looks and I think the nib looks really good on the pen when it comes to overall proportions and aesthetics and stuff. Very nice. Uh, we do have a metal grip section and uh, some of you that follow me since a long time also know that I'm not a friend of metal grip sections, especially not the, you know, like those kind of high glossy ones like the one on the Lamy Studio and, and so on. But uh, I mean, I must say that this grip section here, even though it's metal, it's one of the few grips, metal grip sections that I have come across that are not slippery. And I can't tell you why, because it's a very polished grip section. However, it does have a little bit of grip. It doesn't have any surface structure. It's very, you see, it's like a fingerprint magnet. It picks up fingerprints, so it's like a glossy, smooth surface. No, no structure, no sort of knurling or anything right there, but my hands don't slip here, which is very, very good in my books because there's not many metal section pens out there that can perform that kind of trick. Um, then we have the section right here at the front flaring out a tad just to prevent your, you know, finger from sliding onto the nib. We do have some threads here. They're not very sharp. Uh, so you could even hold the pen up here, I think, but you know, the section is plenty long enough to find your grip. And um, I said we do a size comparison to a Le Grand in a second. Uh, gut feeling is that that's sort of like a Le Grand uh, section as well. As said, cartridge converter filler Feel, feels very, very nice when you unscrew this thing here. This is very, very solidly constructed, guys. There's like no doubt about that. This is a very high quality pen. Very nice converter. As said, you've seen it before. 
uh, I filled the pen with Diamine Blue Black, which is one of my standard uh, review inks. And you know, when I said very nicely manufactured, very satisfying, look how this barrel scrolls onto the section. Super nice and on. Great. Okay, let's do a size comparison. Let's do a size comparison first to my standard size reference pen, which is a Lamy Safari. And uh, Waldmann Precieux here is like sort of like three millimeters, I would say longer when capped. Let's uncap them and see what the picture looks like. Uncapped, the Waldmann Precieux is like uh, three or four millimeters, uh, maybe four millimeters shorter. Won't cap them really because like I said, I'll post them because I said that one is a bit top heavy posted and that one is too long posted, I think. Let's now look at a uh, sort of very, very similar pen, which is the Mont Blanc 146 Le Grand. And I think kept, they are basically exactly the same length. Uncapped. They are also basically exactly the same length. You know, also the caps. Ah, the one of the Mont Blanc is maybe a millimeter longer. A bit slimmer, the Waldmann. You see that here on the pens as well, that the Waldmann is a little bit slimmer. But then when it comes to the sections, let's look at the sections. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. That one is probably a little bit slimmer, but like when one holds it in hand, I think it's like a, it's a really, really nice size. This is what the Mont Blanc and the Waldmann nibs look side by side. Guess it's sort of a number five-ish, maybe a bit larger, or maybe it's because the nib isn't set all the way back into the housing. Um, that's a number six size. Very, very beautiful nib and a very fantastic writer, as I will show you now. Writing sample. Zoom in a little bit. This nib is a very interesting nib because it's very springy, writes very soft. You get a lot of character out of this nib. Starts up right away, which is a fantastic sign. And I think you already see the kind of line variation that you get out of this nib by me just doing a few random strokes right here. But let's write a line. Waldmann. Precieux. Extra fine nib, 18K gold. And I think you already sort of like, you see when I write that that pen is actually, or that nib is actually very responsive, does provide quite a fair share uh, of line variation right there. This is what the pen writes like without any pressure. If I do apply some pressure, we straight away get wider and if I apply more pressure, you know, we get pretty wide and I don't even really have to press very, very hard. Um, if we do some loops, that's what it looks like. No pressure. And now I apply some pressure. See that? I mean, this is not a flex nib. It's not even marketed as a semi-flex nib, but this 18K nib is very, very, very springy, very bouncy. Very, very nice to write with that one. It's a very smooth nib, a very wet nib. You know, for an EF, that's quite a bit of uh, ink that that pen puts down, pretty wet. And as I said, very smooth writing experience. With a tad of feedback, not like the sort of like glassy, smooth or, you know, warm butter on glass kind of, uh, kind of, sorry, I got cut off there with the camera. As I said, um, it's not a glassy, smooth or warm butter on glass kind of writing experience. Has a tad of feedback, not sailorish feedback, but you know, is a very, very nice writing experience. Last thing we have to discuss for this pen here is price. Uh, on uh, Applebaum Pen uh, in the Netherlands, applebaum.com for instance, you get it for 650 uh, euro. 
uh, not crowns, I'm in Sweden, 650 crowns, that would be like 65 euro, that's of course too little. Um, 655 euro, 650 euro, that's what it also goes for on the Waldmann online store. Well, 650 euro, I would say, is quite a word because for that money, you do actually get the Mont Blanc, and Mont Blanc is a luxury brand commanding a luxury price. Waldmann is a fairly unknown brand. I mean, it's a great quality pens, but it's by no means as popular worldwide as Mont Blanc commanding that kind of luxury price tag. However, this pen here is made out of precious materials, you know, 925 sterling silver. Yes, you then get also like an 18 karat gold nib and so on. So, I mean, I think, to be honest, it's a bit steep, you know, asking 650 euro for that. It's probably not exaggerated because it's definitely not a lesser pen than the Mont Blanc. But, you know, maybe around 500 euro would also be a good price tag for this one. However, you know, it's up to you, personal preference. That's just my opinion. The pen is definitely a fantastic pen. Is it worth the money? Up to you subjectively, as said. It's a very nice writer, has a spectacular nib, you know, very bouncy, very lay pen, lays nice in hand, super great, weight, balanced, everything very well. So, you know, up to you in the end if it commands the price tag uh, in a justifiable manner or not. Guys, that was that with that review. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Ciao, ciao.